Hello everyone, I'm uh, Cédric Pierra. I'm uh, happy to speak to you today because uh, we're going to speak about a topic that I really, really like. It's about uh, gamification and how gamification techniques can help engage people in general, staff or employees in particular. So it's really something I really like and I really uh, am thrilled to be able to speak about it today with you guys. A few words about me. I've um, studied uh, cinema, realization of films, plus uh, engineering in IT. Uh, I've made an executive week in Stanford Business School and uh, also the Guberna administrator or board member um, f um, training. I am active in different business, but the most important for me is FEC, the business I founded 15 years ago. And then I'm just going to describe you in one slide. So we're um, active in seven countries. We are developing a CRM system, so a customer relationship management software. We are making 26, 27 million euro turnover and we are about 230 people. Let's go into um, the topic, the subject of today. Um, we know Actually, there is a lot of talks about uh, digital, digital transformation today and a lot of people are thinking the digital transformation in the wrong way. Uh, a lot of people think that digital transformation comes with tools or is a tool, basically. Well, guess what? It's not a tool. Uh, digital transformation is engage people to adapt and to change. To change to reach a certain goal. And there is a, a picture I'm always using uh, to describe the change management or the change, how to, how to change an organization, basically, because if you want to transform digitally an organization, you need the organization to change. You don't need tools. Well, you might need tools eventually, but you certainly and definitely need um, change management in the first place. And the picture here next uh, is the slide of the only person in the world that wants change. Basically, it's a baby that, I, that is hungry or that is a wet pants and he wants change immediately and therefore he cries a lot. But apart from that guy, that little fellow, uh, pretty much everybody hates change and are quite comfy in a non-change world. And this is basically what gamification can improve or uh, why we can use gamification techniques in business to improve that change resistance or to lower that change resistance that everybody has and to increase the speed of change, which is something we need to digitally transform an organization. So if you want to transform the organization fast, gamification are really nice techniques. And we start with a small sample uh, from the city of Stockholm.
I really love that example of Stockholm. First of all, I love Stockholm as a city. Uh, it, I really enjoy being there. Uh, but second of all, it's a, it's a really nice sample on how you can use gamification techniques to make people healthier, uh, happier uh, during their day. This is um, maybe a funny example, but you have many, many more examples from your day-to-day uh, -day life. I don't know how many of you are connected with Duolingo. Duolingo is fantastic. My little girl of 11 years old, she can speak, she speaks, sorry, English really, really well, only because she um, uh, played a game which is called Duolingo. It's not a real game. It's a, a tool to learn uh, languages, but they're using gamification techniques a lot in the in the, um, in the training program, so it ease up the language uh, training, and even a little girl uh, can uh, learn it really fast. Another real life sample I'm using uh, on a weekly basis is the Garmin Sports app. Everybody that I know that makes sports today, they're running with a with a, uh, a watch or a rubber or a T-shirt that takes data and. Those data are sent to an application, which is also using the gamification technique a lot. If you take the Garmin sample, you have the badge for your best um, 5K, or you have the badge for the best climber with your bike, or you have the badge of the fastest 100 meters, and so on and so forth. So you can compete with your friends, you can earn badges, you can earn points. Basically, it's a gamification technique that is used to make you a better and healthier person um, using sports, basically. And the third example I'm, I'm, I like to share with you today is uh, Waze. Uh, Waze is also very, very, very well known. And you start being a baby of the, of, the, of the highway and you end up being the king of the highway. And I really love that as well. And using those techni techniques of gamification, they're really... Uh, improving your experience as an end user and improving the usage of the platform as, uh, as such. Those are for um, not so business application, but um, since I told you we really like that, I really like that as a personal uh, the gamification techniques and I really love to use it uh, in my own company at FEC and we have what we call the end of year challenge. And we basically set up a game. It's, a, it's a quite a, um, uh, an investment for the management. The management has to set up a game, invent rules, invent challenges, inv invent badges for the team. And we do that every end of year. And end of year we are playing against each other, so the teams are trying, trying to, um, to uh, compete against each other, but uh, while competing we are trying to achieve a journey that uh, leads us to a treasure. And once we get the treasure, and every team are, are uh, playing together to reach that treasure, and there is a board, a billboard systems, um, all the all the place basically at a, every office you have the reception, and at the reception you have that kind of billboard showing the progress of the end of year challenge of every team, and you can. Being a developer, you can say to the finance team, okay, maybe you, you need an extra help for finance, uh, you need an extra tool, I can, as a developer, maybe help you to reach your goal, so we can reach the end goal of the company. And the end goal, the goal of the company is in this case, uh, for every employee, like a trip to Ibiza. Of course, it's uh, interesting to go to Ibiza, I like to party, uh, I guess you all do, especially now, <laughs> we, we could use a little bit of party, partying, but it's not really the, the objective, it's not uh, only to, to go there, it's to celebrate the growth of the results and setting up those challenges increase the turnover and increase the profitability of the, of the company pretty uh, well at, at high level, so we can, with, uh, with extra margin, we can pay that kind of trip, which is uh, really cool and uh, unforgettable for most of us. Another real life example from the banking world, so a bit more, uh, you'd say uh, the banks are more reluctant to do that. Uh, well, no, guess what? Uh, Belfius Bank, one of our clients, they installed the gamification for 3,600 agents and they're playing against each other. 
With that gamification techniques and then our gamification platform, so we provide a tool to organize those games and to, uh, to set up those games. And having those tools and using those tools, the management can engage their salespeople much more than without those gamification techniques. And the results are quite impressive because uh, when you take a look at the banking sector, you'd say, well, it's not really growing. The um, improved sales from teams that were using gamification techniques and, and the gamification tool against the ones that were not using them uh, were up 5 to 34 percent. So imagine that you can increase your sales by 34 percent. Well, it works with gamification. You have better regularity. Uh, low day, they, they had an issue uh, with low days, like the Friday where uh, was uh, at Belfius a low day because uh, the, the day was used to do administrative stuff and the, the, the people were f losing their focus to sell. And basically we're setting up a, a small challenge just for the Friday and competing just for the Friday. Uh, who sells the most credit card on Friday? Uh, gets a bottle of champagne, for instance. And those kind of small challenges, they increase the productivity and the sale in turnover for every branch of every um, sales guy in, um, in that organization. So basically, those gamification techniques are just a tool to increase the engagement of your people. And increasing the engagement um, eventually leads to increasing the turnover or the EBDA of your organization. So those tools are, in my opinion, really efficient. That's why I'm really a fanatic about it. I hope uh, you are uh, interested by the speech. And uh, if, uh, if you have any question, you can uh, email me. Uh, the mail is uh, at the end of the presentation. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.